What's up guys, I hope everyone's having a great day today and as you guys may have noticed there has been an update, the Halloween update for 2020 just hit like two days ago and I'm going to show you guys all the new changes to the game for Town Hall 13 and other quality of life changes for every Town Hall. Starting it off, obviously we got a nice cool Halloween themed loading screen. My favorite part is definitely this crazy looking headhunter. For the Halloween themed obstacle, this year we got a vacant tomb. This is a unique obstacle. Only came for this Halloween, has never been released before. There it is, that's the Halloween obstacle for this year, 2020. And then of course we get our Halloween themed mushroom, tree trunk, and bush. And for the upgrades, probably the most important part of the Halloween update. There's only 10 all 13 upgrades that I know of. Let's hop on over to the progress space and show you guys what has changed for Tunnel 13. First thing I'd say is the biggest change is definitely this, the army camps, guys. They added an extra five spaces on each army camp. That's definitely gonna change a lot for attacking. I think it's gonna make it much easier to three star. Up next, we got the Archer Tower. It could go to level 19, cost 16 million gold in 16 days. Forgot to say the army camp cost 16 million elixir in 16 days. And then after the Archer Tower, the last defense we got upgraded is the Hidden Tesla from level 11 to 12. Pretty big increase here. It's like 10% roughly, 130 damage plus 10. 17 days oh my god and then 16.5 million gold so basically what we got is two defense upgrades the hidden tesla which are pretty good value and then the archer tower great defense and then we got an army camp upgrade don't get me wrong it's good to upgrade defense and offense but if you want to upgrade offense another 20 army camp spots we definitely need more defense than this maybe another scattershot level or another inferno level i don't know i just think the army camp level probably a bit unneeded i have a hammer of heroes and we're going to use it here i think the most important thing to upgrade is obviously that army camp out of the three buildings that i can upgrade so let's do it let's see what the level 11 army camp looks like yes we want to use the hammer of buildings to upgrade this instantly boom Ooh. That's what the maxed out army camp looks like, guys. Check it out. I got a nice fire over here. Looking pretty good. I got to upgrade three more of those. 16 million elixir each. That's going to be 48 million elixir on just these three upgrades. And then, of course, for the lab, we have three new upgrades. The giant to level 10. There's the stat increases. Wizard to level 10. 15 days. Oh, my God. And then lastly... The P.E.K.K.A. to level 9. I don't think any of these upgrades are really important at Town Hall 13. Besides the Wizard and the P.E.K.K.A., that's going to make Siege Barracks a little better. Maybe about 5 to 7% better. Not huge, but you know, it's not too small. Siege Barracks is going to be a little stronger now. Your P.E.K.K.A. is going to be stronger and your Wizards are also going to be stronger. Nothing else is new in the lab besides those three troops. Everything is still the same level only three regular elixir troops another great change in this update is to the super troops for you guys that are town hall 11 plus head on over to your super troop boost area and check this out we now have two new super troops the super minion pretty useless super valkyrie i heard it's okay haven't used it yet test it out if you guys want i don't think it's better than the super wall breakers though or the super goblins but the biggest thing is this we can now use super troops unlimited amount of times with no cooldown i could use super wall breakers 24 7 365 this is mind-blowing i used to only use hybrid when super wall breakers were available because i could only queen charge with super wall breakers right it's impossible to queen charge without super wall breakers at talent 13 especially against multi infernos it's just a pain but now with super wall breakers available 24 7 like say less Say less. These super wall breakers are never going to come off cooldown. None of these super troops touch them, in my opinion. Other people like super witches. I don't think any of the other troops are really used. Maybe super goblins in the blimp, but besides that, I think it's all about the super wall breakers. Another big change is the update to your heroes on defense. Remember when you log on sometimes and your heroes are like on cooldown because you just got hit on defense? Now we can no longer put our heroes to sleep. They're always going to be able to defend our base on defense if they're not upgrading. And then when you log back on right after, they'll still be at full health and you could attack with them right away. Love that quality of life change. Another change to Town Hall 13 is the amount of walls we can upgrade to level 14 now. We can now upgrade 100 more walls to level 14. 
I think we can upgrade all of them to 14. If not all of them, it's definitely at least 250 walls out of 300. Some other small changes to the game include wall breakers now being able to use jump spells, wall breakers having death damage, so if they die right next to a wall, they still do a little bit of damage to the wall. Not as much as if they explode on the wall, but still a little. It's really useful. E-drags are a little bit buffed. Skeleton spells are a little bit buffed. Still useless. Air defense is a tunnel 10, now have a little more HP. This is unfortunate. My go-to tunnel 10 attack is a lightning attack. Now it's completely useless. You used to be able to lightning strike a tunnel 10 air defense with only three lightning spells and take it out. And you could take out three air defenses, basically with nine spells and then have a rage spell left over. Now you can't do that anymore. Lightning spells are probably useless at Town Hall 10 now. Dark Elixir troops are now easier to upgrade for lower Town Halls. They decrease the amount of time and the amount of Dark Elixir cost to upgrade Dark Elixir troops. That was definitely needed at lower Town Halls. So hard to say that Dark Elixir like Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Another thing that probably won't affect most of you guys, but will affect some of you guys is there's now 5 minute prep wars for friendly wars. That's really useful. It used to be I think 15 or 30 minutes so you could save yourself. 10 minutes there in prep time, no one wants to sit there for 10 minutes if you're already ready. I'm actually going to try out the Super Valkyrie for you guys, why not? Some of you guys might not be able to see it, so I'll try it out for you guys, show you what it does. I think it drops a Rage Spell when it goes down, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, let's drop one just to see what it does over here. And then I'll probably drop the rest in like one spot, maybe over here. This is a hard base, so we definitely won't take out the Town Hall. All right, let's see what it does here. Yeah, it drops a mini rage after it goes down. So it might be useful in really good situations. I don't think it's the best, but it's all right. It takes up 20 army camp space. That's a lot for most town halls besides 13. Eh, I don't know. Let's see how they go all in like one giant go. Oh, they just one shot those storages. Let's freeze that single yeah i definitely don't think they're useful if you just have like 12 of them straight up it's not gonna do much but maybe like one to help a queen walk in certain situations could work to funnel a queen walk and then if it dies in the perfect spot it could drop a rage for your queen charge look at all those rage spells down it's hilarious i don't think they're the best but they could be viable sometime up next we got the super minion i have no idea what these guys do so we're going to find out in a second. Let's try them out here. I'm just going to drop all 23 like this. Oh. Oh, they're like the builder base minion. They shoot like from a distance. I guess that's not bad. Let's see how much health they have. Uh, looks like they got a decent amount of health. Can they take out the town hall? Do better than the Valkyries? I'm going to freeze that town hall twice. They definitely will take it out. It looks like though... As they go in, as the attack goes on, I mean, the range gets shorter, just like the builder base minions. So I just think these are the same thing as the beta minions, aka builder base minions. Not the best, probably not worth it. Stick to those super wall breakers, like I said earlier, or even super goblins if you like those too for farming. For you guys that are pay to play, check out the shop. We have five deals here. Got a $10 exclusive king skin. Victory always tastes sweet exclusive king skin for the 2020 world championship that's pretty awesome i don't know if i got ten dollars to buy i don't know if i got ten dollars just to spend on a hero skin but if you do cop this one then we got three packs or four packs over here actually i'd say this one right here is my favorite but they're all pretty good besides maybe this one book of building not the best but this one's very nice three books i like the book ones the most resources and potions don't matter books or what matters if you want to pay to play and speed up your account progress yeah decent packs i'd say if you got the money definitely get them and that's it for the halloween 2020 update guys i think it mostly affected tunnel 13 tunnel 11 for super troops and 12 for super troops low town halls like 7 8 9 10 also got affected though with the lab upgrades being decreased for dark elixir troops that's really nice everyone with heroes got affected because now your heroes don't go on cooldown when they take a defense so i guess overall everyone got affected from this update even low town halls tunnel 13 definitely got affected i think it's a great update overall i probably missed a few things in there but nothing too big covered all the main stuff Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, drop a comment. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it so much, guys. See you in the next video.
Peace out.